Hi everyone, it's Deb. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good day, or good night, or whatever it is for you. <laughs> um, here it is, what day is it? Saturday morning. Uh, I think it's still morning. Yes, mid-morning. And, um, it, well, depending on what time you get up, it's like almost 1030. Anyway, and guess what? Good news. It's not snowing. They took the snow out of the forecast. Woohoo! The bad news of that is I probably could have had my yard sale today at my mom's house, but no, I didn't do it because it was going to be snowing and nobody would come and yeah, it's not snowing. So I'm kind of upset about that. But anyway, uh, this too shall pass and we'll have it another day. So yesterday, um, last night actually, when I came home, um, I had some happy mail and I'm, these, I believe are two more from the David B weekly challenge. Um, the first one is from Lisa Goss, who is happy crafter, Lisa Goss. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. Um, so I, I did slit them open, but I didn't, um, pull everything out yet. Oh, look, she, oh, you are so good, Lisa. Look, she's got this David B. Swap slash challenge on YouTube, third week, April 2 to 8, 2018, Deb Hout. This one is from Lisa Goss. YouTube channel is Happy Crafter Lisa Goss. Instagram page is Happy Crafter underline Lisa Goss, all one word. Facebook is Lisa Goss. You are so good, girl. I'll tell you what, that is such a great idea. I need to do something like that so that I don't have to write this out every every time. Oh, this is cool. I don't have this one. I'm pretty sure I do not have this one. I don't remember it at all. It's, um, it's stickers from Dollar Tree, but it's got the frame and a butterfly and a key and these two um, corner pieces and like a floral display, like a half a doily almost. And um, I guess that's a flower and a paisley and a crown. I'm not big on the crowns, but the rest of it I love. So yeah, and actually the crown would go good with the Downton Abbey stuff I just recently won. So maybe I can do something with it that way. So that's cool. And these I love too. I have these. I used some of them already, but I have not used them all. So thank you so much. You know I love my butterflies. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. And Paris. Ninju, Paris. Not just butterflies, but Paris. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lisa. That was very sweet of you. Oh, and then I got an envelope from someone named Hairston. H-A-I-R-S-T-O-N. And they're in Hoover, Alabama. Um... And I don't know this person, and I tried to look it up on YouTube, um, and I could not find a channel. Well, there's Hairston, but I don't know if it, it seems like that's an entertainer person, and I don't know if that's the same person. I kind of doubt it, but I don't know. Um, well, let's see, is there a card? What's this? Oh, no, that's stickers. Hmm. I'm not... Well, here's some little, no, they're just cutouts. I don't see a card. So, if you're watching this person, Hairston, let me know if you have a channel or an Instagram or something, or if not, that's fine. But I just, like I said before, I like to give credit where credit is due. Because, look guys, look how much stuff she, I'm assuming it's a she, she or he sent. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go through it. This is Sandy Lion, which I think is Tuesday morning, maybe. I don't know. It says, great, XOXO, rolling on the floor laughing, OMG, and lots of laughs. Cool. Oh, more Sandy Lion. <laughs> These are cool. OMG, I can't even. Yes. I don't know what B-A-E is. Hmm, you'll have to tell me about that one. Killing it. O-T-P. Oh gosh, now I'm really feeling old. Because I don't know what that is either. Over the... On the point, maybe? On the point? I don't know. 
swag money, basic, epic, shape, ship, ship shape. <laughs> XOXO. Uh oh. TBT. See, I know TBD is to be determined. What's to be tried? I don't know. Guys, I'm showing my age. I know. Spoiled. Lots of laughs. Turn up. Grind. Love. Whatever. Amen. Totes. Yes. BFF. YOLO. Uh oh. <laughs> YOLO. No. Swag and Ratchet. Okay. I don't know all these. I really don't. I know a few, you know, a lot of them. I don't know OTP. I think it's on the point. I don't know. TBT. To be tried. Ugh. To be tested, to be tasted, to be, to be too hard for me to get. <laughs> anyway, thank you. And these, oh wow. I love these. I haven't seen these. They're like silver flowers. How beautiful. Love those. Thank you so much. Love, love, love. And then all these page flags. Are these from Doll? Yeah, Target. Yeah, Target. I don't have these ones, so thank you so much. I will use them in my planner. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look at all the purses. Those are cool. Yeah, I have a little bit of a handbag addiction, and I have gotten really good about not buying handbags, purses, lately. Because I actually... You know those wardrobe things that has two drawers and then doors and then three drawers below? Well, I had the whole top part filled, I mean filled with purses, and it still has quite a few, but it's, I can see them all now at least. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of purses. And um, what's really bad is right now, lately, I've only been using like one the whole winter season and I'll switch to a summery one. And that's about it. But I have some really nice, like, other color winter ones, too. And I don't do them. Anyway. Oh, look at these cute emojis. These are, like, um, journaling cards or cutouts. So those are cute. I've never seen those, either. Oh, look at the kitty princess. Yes, my kitty. She, I don't know if she's a princess, but she sure thinks she's the queen of the house. That's for sure. One in a melon. Oh, that's cute. Michelle, this and that Michelle. That seems like you, huh? <laughs> and, oh, here's more purses and lipsticks and, and glasses with the beaded chain on. Oh, cool. Oh, look at these platform shoes. I remember those. That's scary, huh? Yeah, back in the 70s. Platform shoes. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And my first husband wore them to our wedding. Not that style, obviously, but the guys wore them too. <laughs> okay, these are some stickers. It says, enjoy the ride, the best there ever was, capturing the awesome in everyone. There's a camera up here. And then these flags. These are be nice for planting. And these are all like arrow flag things too, and one of a kind. Very nice. And then there's more. Here's some tags. It says love. And then we got the arrows. You're my lucky charm. Capture this moment. Hashtag right now. Awesome. I have a question about hashtags, actually. And again, I'm showing my age and lack of technology knowledge. Can you just assign any hashtag to anything you do and do you have to search on it first to make sure nobody else used it how does that work um like if i want to post something on instagram and i want to do hashtag happy sunday or something you know do i have to look at that look for that first and make sure nobody else used that because then i'll be like they'll find my stuff in that other person's search how does this work let me know guys um or can i just put anything out there you know I don't know so this is really pretty I like this these are like banners 
And this is just a strip and another banner and a strip. Happy place. And this is so me. Let's see what this says. Enjoy the little things. For someday you will look back and realize they were the big things. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it says, hi, be good, never. And dream on. Yes, always dream. And here's another one of these... Um, blue floral one I like that one and oh these are good for summertime summer sizzle winter oh, all seasons winter wonderland sweet spring autumn adventures and it's got the bicycle enjoy today and this floral it's a circle but then there's squares around it that are separate stickers and these um, I don't know what these are called apostrophe or something I guess and then another little banner thing and some flowers and ferns over here very nice thank you so much you did so much wow I really wasn't expecting this much and I really would like to give you credit M. Hairston Ms. or Mr. is why I said M. I don't know what your initial is I don't think that's on here no but Hairston in Hoover Alabama thank you so much I really appreciate all the goodies and I have to assume this is from David B's challenge swap also so that's all I have for you guys right now I have been um, well not last night but I've been working with trying to get my um, stamps and things organ stamps and uh, paper shaper things organized I bought these magnetic sheets and these Avery L pockets which I really like these pockets they're good quality and I got them from Marietta Magnets on um, Amazon Amazon you get a pack of 25 magnets the Avery L I got on Amazon too but it was a different shop and um, I got these back like in December and I just started using them oh shoot and I wanted to show you how they now I my camp <laughs> right now I can't find my labeler but um, I have to label these yet but like this one is so small I just left it in the package until I use it and then what I'm gonna do is put the packaging back here but that one has a stamp too so I put it in the back and like this one uh, has a stamp but I also am keeping the packaging so that I know the brand until at least until I well I think I'm gonna keep the packaging even after this was one that was a gift from Alina Craft, which was that overseas place, you know, that one was. And this was, um, hmm, I think this is, yeah, Memento. So anyway, I've been, I've been doing that and trying to get those organized because I got them in so many different containers. Oh, and um, the Doris ones have magnets in, inside the, um, the embossing essentials packaging so i just use their magnets for those although they almost don't fit that one didn't this actually is a sizzix one and i hesitated putting it in here but i had it on a different one and it wasn't working out and i just kept the packaging it was just stamping up and this i need to stamp it um punch out because you can't tell what it was but it's like a reindeer head you know I'm not gonna show them all but anyway that's what I've been working on because I like that they're consistent in size now that doesn't help though with the ones that are already way bigger and I have to figure out what to do about those yet but eh, that will that will happen and then I have to find a different spot for them because I've had them on two shelves that are falling apart underneath my desk and that's just not working for me anymore so I have a lot to do I'm gonna to have to order more of those things um, I also had them in um, in binders like this uh, this it just this does not work for me yeah, I'm sorry the binder thing does not work for me um, because I ended up I had too many and I ended up with three binders and they're full and then I have box overflow I just need to put them in um, 
containers and I have to get more of those too. I bought these, um, let me just bring this one up. I bought these interdesign things like Jennifer McGuire and so many other people use and um, I really like them. I think they should be a little bit higher up maybe, but I think these are the ones she specified she liked. This is really heavy. It definitely has to go on a shelf, a sturdy shelf somewhere. And um, my thought in organizing these, everybody seems to do it by the company and then the name of the item, but I think I'm going to do it by um, topic, like all hearts together and then the name of the company. So it'd be like subject, company, and then I'm going to color code like um, red for Valentine's Day, you know, can be used for Valentine's Day, but I don't want to sort them by holiday because some of them can be used for other than the holiday. Like a lot of the hearts you can use all year round. Um, so I don't want them to be just under Valentine's Day, for example. So I'll, I'll just do like hearts or love, hearts and love or something like that. And then, you know, I have other somewhere, I already did them, you know, like hearts and love, hearts and love, but but this one is Sizzix, and this one is, you know, Alina. Um, so, yeah, and then I'll do them by the company. I don't know. What do you think, guys? What works for you? Is it only by the company? Like, here's hearts and spellbinders. Hearts and spellbinders. You know what I mean? So, and then I'll do, like, flowers, and I'll do... Mm, like flowers and leaves and then I want to have some that are like circles squares that kind of stuff rectangles other shapes what works for you let me know guys I'm gonna put this title of friend mail and a question <laughs> so please answer that question down below I really would like to know because what I have done so far before this has not worked for me and uh, I have trouble finding stuff. Like right now, I cannot find my Avery L. bag topper paper shaper thing. And I know it's here somewhere. I did find one that I thought was missing that was from, um, I think it was from Peachy Cheap. Uh, anyway, I did find that near my die cutting machines, which is the other thing I want to do. Move my paper shapers to where my paper, paper shaper machines are which I need to reorganize a lot in this room to do that. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'm rambling on and have a great weekend. Okay. Hugs, love, and peace. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.